Hey, what up, everybody? J-Ho here with another Hardcore Challenge episode. We are on uh, episode number seven. So the last episode, we had a couple good raids. Uh, we had a really sketchy grenade death. Um, but that happens from time to time. So what we're going to do here today is we have a little bit built up, um, which is nice. So I think I'm going to get outside of the customs and uh, factory cycle that we've been kind of in trying to build up and you know not get trapped too hard in other maps just by having bad gear um so i think we're gonna go ahead and uh see see what we can do i'm still looking to uh to get some items to complete some of these beginning quests i'm really struggling trying to get the items needed for the proper quest as well as the salua and stuff but i think our best bet is probably going to go to interchange and hitting ultra medical room as well as hitting uh boxes so if we can get some toolboxes we can potentially trade for the 133 shotgun and we can get that quest done and we can move on from there so uh let's go ahead hop into some raids so for we're gonna use this um don't really need put this on just in case maybe some glasses Don't really need much else for um, uh, one toilet paper. <laughs> so I don't really need much else for this, I don't think. I think we can risk it without going with the armor and potentially losing our only armor that we have. Um, am I sure this is right? So we're looking for... All right, so just to kind of recap what we're going to do here. So we're going into... Um, interchange and we need to get items to get an 133 shotgun and i just want to get these first ones out of the way uh to get salua kits now we can either get paids kind of hard to find them actually or we can get splints painkillers and bandies so that's mainly what we're looking for splints painkillers bandies and to get the 133 shotgun i believe it's is it here yeah yeah so we have one elite player, so we need one more elite player and one more screwdriver. That's it. We can go ahead and we can get that uh, set done of quests. And then for the hideout, I believe... <sighs> oh, my guy's hurt. <sighs> All right, now he's not hurt, so we shouldn't have to hear that anymore. It's bugged? Okay, whatever. So this is... We need a drill, screws, and hoses. Workbench, we need bolts and nuts. So definitely need bolts and nuts. Oh, we can install this. That was a couple episodes ago. Vents, we need a motor and a car battery. Actually, good things to find on Interchange. This is light bulbs and wires. Generator is... Relays, motors, wires. We need a lot, a lot of wires. Bolts and screws, hoses, and tape. Relay and some money. Med station is getting her leveled up, so we definitely need to get the quest done. Some money. Blood sets, and is this NACL? Oh, saline. Saline solution. Okay. Heating, we need just some money. We could probably sell stuff and even get that now if we needed or wanted. Um, Let's see. Let's see what we could sell, if there's anything that we really want to sell. ES lamps, I can trade for grenades. Helixes, I'm going to need. Power cords, I'm going to need. I can sell that. And where's that six pack key? Oh, that is the six pack key. Okay. Wrench, we're going to need to craft toolkits. Probably just sell these dog tags, too. Let's sell dog tags. All right, so we got 27,000. I think that was enough to get the rest space. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so we got a little bit of money. Let's, it says it's ready for installation. That was an instant one. Did I install it already? I did. Okay, sweet. All right, and we're going to go ahead and hop into interchange. Let's go. 
All right, so when we were last playing on Customs a little bit ago, we heard it start to rain in Tarkov, and it is literally downpouring now. Super loud and obnoxious. I didn't bring my ultra medical key. Son of a gun. Is it Emercom? Yeah. Or a hole in fence. <laughs> Did you know that these, if you just sprint, you'll just run right over them? Run back, you don't actually have to jump. <laughs> kind of a cool little mechanic. <laughs> Super loud. Probably gonna be a lot quieter once we get in here though, for sure. He had no armor on? Thought for sure he had to have had armor on. All right, we're gonna get a little bit away from that. Made a lot of noise there. Propane, wow. Can't touch it either. I think it debatterates a trade too. It's more of this ammo. It's the same same ammo. So I do see this bottle of water right here. And we're gonna chug all that. It's probably a quick scab kill. Alright, so that kind of sounds like it's up top. We're just going to kind of go through this middle area. So what I really want to do is I really want to get to the back and hit the toolboxes out back. I actually like that. Do I, I still have that AKM, right? I think I do. Might not. I might have died with that. No, no, I died with the 5.7. So I think I, I think I still have it. So we're hanging on to that. I want to walk on the metal there. I hit this jacket really quick. Let's see if we can get a useful key. Nope. So we do got a medical spot here, some capacitors, a toolbox, drill, we need the drill, son of a gun, I don't have a spot for a drill, we need the hose, okay.
Can I open that? Nope. Um, hmm. G phone. Nice. It's a hot rod? Probably drink that. Wires. Okay, we're gonna drink the hot rod. We're gonna pick up the wires. All right. So we had a lot of stuff that we need already. Might be worth a quick reset, honestly. Might be worth a quick reset. That's, uh, I think that's going to be what we do here. I think we might just jack the hole in fence. Let me check these computers really quick. find stuff I need, I do got a couple items I can drop. That D battery. I think that's a trade for a gun. We're not really hurting for guns right now. I think you need like six of them. I definitely want the G phone just because that's a pain in the butt later. DVD drive isn't worth anything. Or for anything. We got anything in here. Might be a quick reset, and that's what we're going to do. Man, I really wish I could get that drill out. All right, all right. I'll take the power cord. So I can make those into wires later if I need them, so. I need a boatload of wires. A literal boatload. Pretty sure that there's a key spawn over here. Nothing though. We get pistol 50 round mag. Um, it's M4 too, right? All right, I think we're all right for right now. We have we don't really have a use for it. I think we could should only grab essential items essentially. Snippers. Oh, elite players. Okay, we gotta drop something. Caps. Bye. Alright, now all we need is a screwdriver. I 
that D fuel? This D fuel. Hmm. Alright, just. Oh, shoot. Let's see what's over here. Another hose. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to need the hose over. And the bandage. Um, oh, I guess the D fuel's got to go. That feels bad. It feels so bad to drop D fuel for a bandage. And I had to make Salua's, dude. I don't even have fuel yet. All right, we're just gonna take that out over the bandage. This, those, that makes me feel at least a little bit better. Did I not see this earlier? What is this? Is that a relay? That's measuring tape. That's fine. Measuring tapes are everywhere. Literally everywhere. So we really, really want to make it out of this right now. It's just like can of food. Let's see if we can crack another uh, pistol or it's a gun. Type of gun. It's an M1A. I'm doing it. Oh man, that's gnarly. Less than half. Got M80 rounds in it though. It's a dead body right there. Looks like the gun's already gone. We're dipping. And I have a gun. Need not get greedy on that one. This is actually a good run already. So we're just going to run over here. We're going to hit hole in fence and get the shell out of here. Stop my running a little bit earlier. You just tap the sprint button again. That allows you to stop. So in that way you're not wasting stamina. So the hole in fence, you do want to definitely want to watch. See if you can find like a camper. Sometimes people sit right there. Sometimes you'll find some really good loot right here and it'll make you really, really sad. Because it's like, oh, can't take it. <laughs> so that wasn't a huge, huge loot run at all. But, big butt, we got some really item, big items that we need. Two hoses is a huge, huge find. Getting the elite players is massive. We're literally one elite player away. One. Or not one elite player, one screwdriver. Which is actually easier to find than elite players. Surprisingly. So it's not bad. We got a wire. We're not we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad at all. That was that wasn't bad. The G phone. We just want to make sure we can get those. Set up two. M1A. I need some room to put this bad boy in. Somewhere. All right. Um, that there. We got some nuts and another knife, so we can start packing those back up. Um, other than that, we need some food. I think we'll take that just in case. Um, I think I died with the army bandages on. Medical key. Do I have anything in either of these? No. Alright, 
right, we'll hang out of that, but we're gonna take this one in. Because if we can hit that hole in fence again, get a nice, easy extract, it'd be nice to get some more stuff out. Um, all right, I think we're good. All right, we're hopping back into, yeah, we're going back into interchange. Raining regardless, no matter, let's go. All right, so, it's all right spawn, I guess. I think there's somebody that spawns like literally right next to me right there. Let's go up this way a little bit. Not trying to get trapped. Okay, can't go through there. Keep an eye over there for it. Getting into the medical room here in a timely manner is gonna be tough from the spawn. This is not an area where I wanna lose my breath at either. So we're definitely gonna to wanna to regenerate that. Get up here a little bit. Okay. Hopefully no scabs. Won't be any players in here yet. Scab behind me. We are going to see if we can get in and out of Ultra Medical Room with the ease and finesse that we need to be. We have a long run over there. Too bad so far. We're leading the pack. Last time I went in here, I got hatcheted. <laughs> no power. Pretty sure I saw a dot come up. Come on, dude. We need somebody to turn the power on. Alright, we're gonna go hit talk light real quick then. Magnet, capacitors, ES lamp, light bulb. Gas analyzer. Nothing. Gotta be quick, 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 quick. Another light bulb. Check back here. Don't see anything. Okay. So we're gonna run past here. All right, so we need gas analyzers for a mission coming up here soon. Power just be on yet, please. Shoot. Ah!
Typically, the person that goes there always just turns the power on, right? Why wouldn't they? Because they want to be raging buttholes. God, it's so loud. Ah, am I gonna have to go turn the power on? Burn away here a little bit. No, no need to rush to go turn that power on. That's like right behind me. Make my profile a little bit less. There's somebody right there. Here's an Alton. That's what I was worried about happening, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not really getting much for loot there, buddy. So, proud of you, but... Whatever, dude. Hit count. Uh, damage dealt to body. So I was making it through. Oh, I must have just hit him in the arms and stuff. Because it does say absorbed by armor. Unless I tapped him in the face. Hmm. I mean, he's hurt. He's hurt. Power's off. I'm sure he has heals. A gold neck, too. I literally had no armor on. <laughs> what a waste. Kind of feels good, actually. Suck it! Alright. Man, I can't believe nobody turned the power on there, though. That was super, super unfortunate. <sighs> I don't know. When I'm always there, I always turn the power on, so... <laughs> I don't know why anybody wouldn't. Um... How long are we into this? Okay, we can do another run. Let's do, let's do a quick run. I think we'll we'll run into factory and see if we can get a screwdriver or some elite players in there. Or I, actually, I have the elite players. All I need is a screwdriver now, isn't it? Noise. That's what we're looking for. Ah, <coughs> oh. choked on my own saliva there. Okay. Um, I probably got to heal. Nope, I'm good. I did the after raid and I still put one of these on. No, I no, I won't. I'm sure I'll find something. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna hop into a quick factory raid, and we're gonna wrap up the episode with this raid. All right, not the shitty spawn, which is good. Wrench there. What is pick up? I had to make sure that I am on auto. Full auto. Okay. Let's go up here. about to butt heads.
Oh, I lit him up so bad, too. <laughs> if he wouldn't have turned around. What type of helmet did he have on? Dude, he's got to be hurt. 288 damage to the body, dude. I'm, I'm hurting some of these people. <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap up the episode there. That was kind of a meme little run. That was fun, though. One or two shots. Two shots to the chest. I mean, three times. Took three bullets. I hit him eight times. Nothing. All right. Well, it is what it is. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode number seven of the Hardcore Challenge there. Uh, was it, wasn't a terrible day by any means. Um, we got some items that are really needed. Um, I really got a little, I got a little bit greedy in a couple of spots. Um, but hey, you know, you got to risk it to get the biscuit sometimes. And, uh, you know, it, it's all right. It's all right. It's not too bad. Not too bad there. Um, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll hop into number eight in a couple days. Uh, that's when that will come out. And uh, we'll see you then. Hope you guys have a good day.